So we're at the Fort Peck Dam project in, and it's in the middle of nowhere, Montana. And we were coming from Theodore Roosevelt National Park over to Glacier National Park. And uh, wow, what a find. Uh, we came here just really for a stopover. And the it's got a great campground if you want to boondock there there are uh, places right on the uh, right on the water right on the lake and if you want uh, electricity they got 50 amp uh, 50 amp access at the other uh, place walking trails you would never expect to find such an awesome park out here in the middle of nowhere so we're gonna go check out the museum um, and they um, museum and interpretive center and we're going to get a powerhouse tour of the dam or the uh the power that they generate from this dam uh really a neat find out here in the middle of nowhere so um this was found in 1988 when the water levels were really low. There was kind of an island stepping, you know, stepping out of the reservoir, and this gal, Kathy Wonkel, and her family, uh, wandering around, found these bones, and alerted the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman as to what it was. Tremendous Tyrannosaurus Rex that uh, Museum of the Rockies had, and actually outside of their museum in Bozeman, they have this huge bronze statue of a T-Rex called Big Mike, and it's a model of this guy. Um, but now the real fossils for this are back at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. They're redoing their whole paleontology exhibit, and this will be called the Nation's Rex. So you saw it right here in Fort Peck. And then Peck's Rex, we call it Peck's Rex here, the big flesh down. That was found in 1997, just 20 miles south. This was 50 miles south of Fort Peck, and this one, the Pex Rex, was found 20 miles south. And um, we call this one Pex Rex because of Fort Peck, but Museum of the Rockies calls it Montana's Rex. What did I expect to find when I came back to? This old street of mine The Queen of Hearts right where I left her We're here at, I believe the locals call it Tower Hill and it's basically it's a place where Lewis and Clark came and they could see everything so we'll get some footage of, of what you can see from here but you can see, I don't know how far but as far as you could ever expect to see um, in all directions uh, but we came up here to see the Milk River and the and that's that's the one on the far side over there the Milk River coming into the Missouri River and they come together uh, one the Milk River is supposed to be really muddy or milky and coming into the crystal clear uh, Missouri because the Missouri comes from the bottom of the dam and you're supposed to be able to see them where they kind of merge and it looks weird doesn't look too weird to me. You can see it in the video. Broken bicycle wheel, the body of the bird. All right, so we're headed over to the powerhouse tour now, I guess, yeah. to see how uh, how the power's made from the dam. We'll see. Now I'm, he did tell us, they did tell us that um, the cameras are not allowed inside, so we'll get what footage we can, the outside and all that. Enjoyed our time here at Downstream Campground. It was a surprise to find this in the middle of nowhere, and we're off to Glacier National Park next. We'll see you there. We've gotten our first glimpse of something other than the badlands and wheat fields. Um, pulling up here to Glacier National Park in the mountain, the snow cat mountains are massive, and uh, we're gonna go in and spend the day on a what is that called? It's a red line bus tour. 
an eight hour tour through Glacier National Park. Kids are excited about that. They, um, we woke up really early this morning, came over from Shelby, Montana. I'm not excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> we, it was a little sarcastic. <laughs> I don't know if you heard Brooke back there, but uh, anyway, she's giving us some commentary. Anyway, we're going to go in, enjoy Glacier. We'll take you along with us. Hang in here at Logan Pass. Taking the going to the Sun Road. Um, I think we're going to Lake McDonald next. Uh, maybe get and grab some lunch. See you there. McDonald's? Lake McDonald. I wept over the day to spot a girl on her wing colored my dream. So Bryce is um, I'm wondering it. what that handle there does. He's never seen one of those before. Yeah, he comes with this new contraption. From the day I caught a falling ball, a tiny house in the giant tree. Well, my first love, first love me But now there's nothing but a quiet street And even the memories are almost gone Nothing here but a quiet street For two old feet to walk alone Half a century ago My mother barely more than a girl Okay, so we're wrapping up here uh, after Glacier. We're back um, from there. And it was a little disappointing, a little smoky. Um, glad we went, but a little smoky. Um... But what I mean, what the biggest thing that happened probably to us here, um, and I'll put the footage in here, but uh, we had an incident <laughs> where we had a bat. I have it, no idea how we got in the <laughs> RV. How does that bat get in the RV? We didn't even see one flying around. So somehow we made it into the RV. Yeah. And <laughs> so we'll show you the video, but basically it boils down to Corey wakes me up. Um, Maybe not in the middle of the night, but, but certainly late at night. The morning before we're going to Glacier. And and um, anyway, wants me to get this bat out. And, and anyway, I'll show you the footage, but it gets stuck behind the, um, TV. behind the TV. I take the TV down and then, anyway, we think we get it out. And, and um, anyway, you'll see, we don't get it out, but we do. So we sleep with it all night. And then Corey traps it on Ty's curtain and, and gets morning. it out the next morning. So I'll roll that fo that footage here at the end so you can see it. But uh, I wanted you to know what it is you're looking at before uh, before I roll the footage. All right, guys. So my wife has gotten me up because we a poor, helpless little bat. Who knows how long he's been trapped in the RV? But we finally saw him flying around. So he's hiding under the TV. We're gonna try to capture him and let him go. Of course, we don't have very good tools. We have a pillowcase, so I had to turn the camera on so that we can <laughs> get this because there is no way you were gonna get it. Have to try. How about something bigger that goes all the way around the hole, or something? I mean, you're not. What are you gonna? I'm gonna. When he comes like crawling out, I'll try to capture him. He's not gonna come crawling out. He's gonna come flying out of the at 50 miles an hour. Whatever it is, is not going to be good. I can take this off. I knew, but that'll make him fly for sure. What if we just... Like, you can't shoot. What are you going to shoot? If you shoe him to crawl out, maybe you can capture him. Do you want to shoe or do you want to capture? Neither. I wanted to go to bed. Well, the last 
Last word is Lou. New strategy. Take the TV off. I'll try to grab him. And I will duck when it comes flying up, and she's, you know, running around trying to catch it. All I'm going to do is make sure that the TV doesn't get hurt. Accidents, stains, my everyday cleaning, it gets every floor in my Let me just turn the TV off so that uh, we can hear the screams better. <laughs> Did I you got it. Is he there? Can you see him? I don't know. I don't want him to hit me in the eye. Go take it outside and see. Okay, you can't open the door? Oh. He's off now. He's not in there, so he must be in here. Oh. Okay. What you got there, Cora? <laughs> Well, I know. Yeah, the me, dad is in here. Pour it up. How could she ever come? Is he in there? Could my Where did he go? Is he not in there? Still be rising into the sky. <laughs> it was it over there? Where did it go? When there's only a quiet street. Okay, he's not in here. Let's try again. What? There's a little crack back there. I'm not taking the other off. Oh man. A stinker. I can't get it over there. It's found a good hiding spot. What else but a quiet Poor little bat. Poor little bat. Poor dad. <laughs> No. Where? Where? Don't let it back in. Oh my 